Unlocking the meaning of, lend me your tractor. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into the phrase, lend me your tractor. This seemingly simple request holds more than meets the eye, especially for learners of English. Understanding such phrases is crucial for both speaking and listening fluently. Let's break it down together. Lend me your tractor is a direct request where the speaker is asking someone to allow them to use their tractor for a period of time. The key components here are lend to give something to someone for a short period, expecting it to be returned. Me, the person asking for the tractor. Your, signifying that the tractor belongs to the person being spoken to. Tractor, a piece of farm machinery used for various agricultural tasks. This phrase can be used literally on a farm or figuratively in other contexts. This phrase demonstrates the imperative mood, which is used for requests or commands. The structure is straightforward. 1. Verb. Lend. Plus indirect object. Me. Plus direct object. Your tractor. It's an example of how English often places the action first, followed by who is involved or affected by the action. In English, Especially in more informal contexts, borrowing something as significant as a tractor implies a level of trust and familiarity between the two parties. It's not just about the tractor. It's about relationship and community. This phrase could be used literally in rural areas or metaphorically to express a need for substantial help or support. Depending on the situation and the relationship between the speaker and the listener, the phrase can be modified for politeness or formality. Could you lend me your tractor? I was wondering if I could borrow your tractor. These variations soften the request, making it more polite or tentative. Understanding phrases like, lend me your tractor, enriches your English communication skills, giving you insight into not just the language, but the culture and nuances behind the words. Whether you're asking for a favor or offering help, it's about more than just words, it's about connections. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this video helps you navigate the beautiful complexity of the English language. Happy learning!